time that is convenient for you with your schedule, and I'll send them there. Over me, I'm gonna hang up the phone. All right, I'm You're listening. Being rude as fuck. I'm assuming you clicked on this video because you need a little bit of help managing your tenants, right? Truth be told, dealing with tenants is some of the hardest stuff you're going to have to do as a real estate investor. And a lot of people out there, they don't tell you this. There's not necessarily a book that's going to explain all this to you. One of the things that they don't tell you is sometimes no matter what you're doing, some of your tenants are going to fight you tooth and nail, even if you're trying to help them. We were going through some of our uh, video archives and we actually found a conversation between me and an actual tenant of a property I was selling. It's a couple years old, but this is going to be some great education for those of you who are dealing with your own tenants for the first time. You can see how I had to try to relate to this guy to get him to agree with me on allowing us into the property. It was in his best interest the whole time, but his immediate reaction was to fight me. So take a look at the ways you can communicate and become relatable with these folks to get them to play ball. Hello? Yeah, is this Joe? May I ask who's calling? Joe, my name is James Wise. Uh, the seller of Daleford hired me to sell the property. I understand you're having problems with him and the other realtor and the property manager. Uh, well, yeah, we've had a lot of issues with the property manager. Absolutely. Okay. Well, <clears throat> hopefully I can solve all the problems for everyone involved here. Um, currently, so like you're, you've met Grant, right? I have not met Grant. I have spoke to Grant. Okay. So just let me make sure we are aware of who all the players are. Uh, Grant works for the guy that's going to buy that house. The guy okay. that's selling the house, he lives in California. And as you know, he's hired uh, Ed Company. Okay, to manage yeah, it. That's sure. been your landlord. And then he's yeah. also hired me to sell the property. Now, from what I've been told through Grant, Ed, and the seller... Uh, there's repairs that have not been made and just like shit just ain't working right and you know I believe you might even have a lawsuit against them is that all correct uh, yeah there's mold in the basement my wife is pregnant and she is now being treated for it okay alright good we're all on the same page that's the same information I had before I called you uh, so, so here's where we're at man it's obviously not working out with it's not working out with that seller as I understand it, you're not letting Grant and the other guy into your unit to inspect it. But that, that's not going to uh, solve the problem. If you let them in, that guy is going to buy the house. That guy will be your new landlord. And you don't ever have to fucking talk to Ed or the seller ever again. Yeah, I understand that. But uh, you, you do understand that they're trying to shirk responsibility and that you guys will be then liable for everything that's going on, correct? Yeah, the new guy is going to be liable for everything that's going on. So, what I'm trying to do right now is help you help you, my man. Because it, it could go a different way, and that's not the way that I want it to go for you. So, the best way here is for you to just eliminate the problem. Eliminate Eliminate Ed. Eliminate this prick seller that is unwilling to fix the mold in your house for the last few years. So, by not letting the new guy come in, you're preventing the problems from being solved, and you're just going to continue to have to fight with these guys. He's trying to come in. I work a second shift job. He's trying He's trying to screw with my sleep pattern. I can't have you guys come here at 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm only asleep for like three hours by then. No, I respect that. No, that makes sense, bro. And that's why I wanted to call you. Um, what time would work for you? And I'll call those guys and I'll be like, look, guys, my dude here, he's, he's got fucking mold problems. Nobody's helping him out. This is bullshit. He works a second shift job. He's got a sick, pregnant wife. Like, let's fucking not come in at a wrong time. What time works? And then I'll get those guys in at that time. I won't let them do some bullshit where they come early. That's that's not right. Yeah, we're we've uh, we're, we're really getting to the end of the rope here because, um, like I said, they have just they've tried to just barge into the property and they're giving us no notice. They're just showing up, and and, and no repairs have been made. Um, 
like I said, we're in escrow right now, and we're actually getting ready to lawyer up. Um, well, here's 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 the good thing, and like I said, man, I could solve pretty much all your problems. When this property sells, all right, you live in Shaker Heights, okay? Shaker Heights has something that's called a point of sale, okay? Yes. They come in, they do a point of sale inspection. The house... They've already, they've already done that. I know, and what I'm going to tell you here is the escrow amount, the amount of repairs, I have the report. It's about six pages long, and that buyer that's going to buy your house has agreed to assume it. So he's got to put up money in escrow that he doesn't get that money back until after he fixes that stuff. And he's got a time limit with the city to fix it. So the sooner we get the sale closed, the sooner that guy's forced to go in and fix all the problems, which is going to solve all your problems. So you tell me a time that works for you, and I will tell those guys that's the times okay. they can go. Okay, so what happens when he's got to come up and he's got to dig up the foundation because there's a crack in the foundation because we get water in the basement every time it rains? And who's going to cover my boy, my wife's hospital bills and her medication, then? As far as who's right. covering those bills, man, I don't know. I'm not your attorney. I can't tell you that. But what I can okay. tell you is you got a guy who you're fighting with right now who isn't fixing anything. I'm going to remove that guy from your life. That's the one way this could go. The good way this can go is I will remove that guy from your life. I'm going to get you a new guy that's required by the city because he's putting up a $20,000 deposit in escrow. He can't get his twenty k back unless he fixes those problems. Guys don't buy houses to fucking burn twenty k, bro. That's just not how this works. So I'm going to take your bad situation and make it a little bit better. That's one way that this could go, and I want it to go this way for you. The other way that it can go is those guys are just going to evict you guys. So that's not going to help anybody. So let's do it the other way. They can't evict me. I'm current on all my bills. You have a lease that requires you to allow them access to the property. I also am a large property manager. I'm not your property manager, obviously, but I am a large property manager. My company evicts about 100 people a year, so I'm familiar with the, the laws. And I'm telling you as a guy who's not going to evict you because I'm not your property manager, I'm just telling you from the outside looking in, they do have the ability to evict you, and they would win that no. case. They would no. win the How case. Can they How can they evict me? Because no. paying rent is not the only term in your lease that you're required to adhere to, okay? Yeah, I know. So, look, I, I bro. I read the lease. I, I don't know what it means. Joe. There is no point for me and you to argue about whether or not they can evict you. I'm telling you as a third party, they can and they will. How? And that's what's going to happen. Please tell me how they can evict me when I'm current on all my bills and I've done nothing wrong. Your lease requires you to pay your rent, which you've done. But your lease also requires you to allow them access to the property when they need to. If they give me, if they give me proper notice, then and I, showing up, then showing up. Right, Joe, Joe, again, not Joe, again, that's why I don't want it to go that way. That's why I'm telling you right now to tell me when they can go in there, well, and then I'll make them come at that time, and we'll handle it. All right. <clears throat> We're, we're getting an attorney. You can speak to the attorney. Um, well, if, if you, you sound kind of threatening to us right now. I'm not going to lie. You're, you're coming off as, as very threatening. Joe, um, do you want this to go the easy way or the hard way, bro? I'm trying to help you. Why don't you take I, I, the help? Just give me no, a time that is convenient for you with your schedule, and I'll send them over there. Me. I'm going to hang up the phone. Joe, if you hang up the phone... Jesus, this guy's an idiot. Hold on, we're calling him back. I told you. I thought I had him for a minute. Why is it so hot? You're like, you were like, you were, I thought everything was going the right way. I'm like, oh, this isn't going to be good. <laughs> I thought I had him. You ready? Yep. Hello? Joe, my man, don't fight me, bro. I'm not your enemy. You quit talking over me. All right, go ahead. Say your piece. I'm here. I'm listening. I'm listening. Show me some respect and quit talking over me. I, I, I understand what you're trying to do. All right, I'm you're listening. You're rude as fuck. I'm, Joe, I'm listening. Tell me what you got to say. I'm here. 
I'm sick of this harassment going on. This is ridiculous. I will set up an appointment so you can come view the house, but I'm not going to do it at your convenience. It's supposed to be at my convenience. Joe. And stop threatening to evict us because we have done nothing wrong. Joe. It requires a 24-hour notice, right? So, like, they could do it at any time of 24 hours. hours. Yeah. So I'm telling you right now, just give me the time right now, and that'll be the appointment. What time do you want it to be? We can go next Tuesday at 12 and at 12. Okay, so Tuesday, October 23rd at 12 noon. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to call those guys. I'm going to tell them that's the time. And then I'm going to have my assistant call you back and confirm with you. And then they're not going to bother you again, all right? That's the only time I'm available. And I got I got doctor's appointments that I'm running her to. I have work in six days a week. It's Tuesday at 12, or I can't do it. Make it happen. All right, Joe. I'm going to have my assistant call you back later to confirm. I'm going to call those guys right now. Glad we could work it out, and it's mutually beneficial yeah, for everyone. You're wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, mission accomplished. Hey, up here, click the show notes below to advertise your business on Holton Wise TV today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.